and we are rolling. Good morning, how you doing? Welcome to Snap Vlog 37, I think it is. Jeez, you happening fast. Morning, Harold. Gee, you must have slept well last night, fella. Didn't hear a peep out of you. Quite all night. It's actually getting sunny. Might be time to start covering the old head up. Because when you're a bit thin on top, man, you don't want to get burned here in New Zealand. Our sun is wicked. That's Bruno barking. You watch when I start singing what he does. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. What film was that out of? Give you a clue. It starts with O. Oh. G'day, mate. Here you go. Oh, can't open this. Stuck. Here you go. Morning, Poe. Morning, Poe. Here you go, Poe. Bruno! Bruno! Bruno, sit! You're not gonna knock me over on my ass. Sit! Stay! 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 Where you go? Hey, ducky! Hey, again! There's your own little pile, mate. You tell those chickens to fuck off. Happy? Yep. Okay, which one of you two is a celebrity, eh? Is it you or you? Hmm? Hey, Pace. Your Pace. Hey, Pink. Your Pace. Hey, Pink. Yeah, Pink. Yes, Pace. Sit down, Pace. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Pink. Hey, Pink. Here we go. Here you go, mate. Hey. You're sweet, aren't you, eh? Yes, you are. Come on. Hey, Pace. Gentle. Easy, Pace. I'm going to pick your brother up. Out of there. Get out of there. There's junk in there. Good dogs. Out of there. Come on. Heal up, Pink. Pink, come. Good boy. Sorry, you're not a boy, you're a girl. Good girl. She's healing well. Check it out, she's healing good. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl, Pink. Healing very well. Yes, you are, mate. Right by my feet. That's what you wanted. Stop all that running around. Get him behind, B. Get him behind. Good dogs. Heal up. Heal up. Now we pose, Gom. I guarantee you, Poe is trying to catch a rat somewhere. I'm going to give her the loud whistle. <whistles> Hippo! <whistles> if you're standing beside me right now, that would actually deafen your ears. It actually deafens my ears. It's the loudest whistle I can do. It's louder than the fingers and the mouth. And I'll do a video sometime on how to whistle that loud. I'll show you the technique you use with your tongue and your teeth. Poe is definitely onto a, it'll be a rabbit somewhere. Not a rabbit, sorry, a. Better not be a rabbit, she'll be onto a rat. She doesn't chase rabbits, these little guys would. Heal up, heal up. That was good, she listened. Heal up. Just gonna wait for the command. Where you go? She's learning so fast, that little dog, eh? She's holding her own, too. Look at her beating up pace here. She's small and pace. She's that's exactly what she's going to do to a pig, isn't it? She's going to smack it in the ass to stop it. Good girl. It's only small, but she's got a lot of grit. She's playing pace again. Fuck off. Good boy, pace. They play together really well. There's never been a real scrap. As noisy as it is.
Boom, boom, duck tonight. Where were these guys when I was standing here with my 14? Hey, where were they? Nowhere to be seen. Man, it really feels like summer. It doesn't even feel like spring, it's so hot. And I don't know where Po is. This is the first walk I've ever had without her coming. I guarantee you, guarantee she's onto some rats. She would have found a hole somewhere and she's probably caught one. And nothing will tear away from that, eh? Guaranteed. These dogs are all healing so well. This little new dog, Pink. Man, she's good. Man, she's good. Sit down, Pace. Sit down, Pace. Where you go, Pace? Where you go? This really good wee dog. She's just brilliant. Yes, you are. Really listening. Good girl. I took her out hunting in the weekend and she just bonded with me in the bush. I've had to correct her once with the hot collar. Around here we've got electric fences and stuff and you just don't want your dogs getting shocked off the fences because it can stuff them up. If they get a shock off the fence this is a bull fence beside me here. You'll probably see cattle up here. So good electricity. If they get a shock off that, it's really a, a hell of a shock for a, a small dog. It's designed for a bull to keep the bull on. So you don't want them getting a shock off the fence. And if they get one off it at the wrong time, uh, the critically wrong time, it can do a lot of damage. Good dogs, staying in tight. Good dogs, you good dogs. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good dogs. Just staying nice and close as I want until I give them the command, which is the words way, then you, then go. Now where's Poe? Not scared of the water, are you? Eh? No. Good girl. Big green head duck right there. Oh, boom boom, duck tonight. <laughs> oh, here's Poe. Hello, Poe. You've been ratting, eh? She's having a first pee right now. She's been busy. It must have been a rat by the kennel. What you doing, Poe? Hey, you haven't done your toilet set, have you? I can tell. You're gonna have to do a poo next. I can just see it in your tail set. Guaranteed she's gonna go to the toilet. Hey, she's been busy, eh? Doing something. You may be wondering why I keep on saying boom boom duck tonight. When I was duck shooting with Mitch and Daniel, I had this song going around in my head because you know there's a lot of people anti duck shooting. So I come up with one line which goes, We don't care if the antis cry, if it flies, then it dies. Boom boom duck tonight. And I'm going to record that on my uh, next hunting CD. Actually, I've got two. CDs that I've recorded right now, and none of them which I have put out, just because I'm too busy. These paradise ducks, man, they're just everywhere. This guy here, how easy would that be? <laughs> Noisy buggers, and I tell you what, they're the worst enemy for us hunters when we're away in the bush. And you're trying to sneak into a deer because they will spot you before anything else, and they go off like an alarm. <laughs> Although having a scrap of the pond now. Very territorial. Well, she won that one. I think there's uh, one female down here and two males having a scrap. Oh no, there's another female coming in. Oh, the females are fighting, are they? And the two little ducks over here, the little native scarp. Sweet little ducks. You don't shoot those ones. 
So what you been doing, Poe? You've been chasing a rat, eh? Hey, you've been chasing a rat? Something. What's she seen there? What's that, Poe? You smelt a rat. Hey, you smelt something, haven't you? She doesn't go for rabbits or hares like these little guys here. She's been trained a long time, but she's allowed to do rats, and there's heaps of rats around here. Well, here he comes in for another fly. Straight over the top. How easy would that be to shoot? Jeez. And I don't care what anybody says, they know about guns. I stood here, I said to my landlord, I want to shoot one duck this duck shooting season. He said, yeah, okay, one. I stood here after ducks every day, coming down with the 14, and not one duck flew over me. And every other day, they know. They, they know. Animals have some sort of intelligence. I've been around long enough, I've been hunting long enough to know that they know when you're armed and unarmed. I don't know how they know, but they know more than we think they know. It's the same with pigs. If you, I always take my 14. The one time I left it behind, I got knocked over on my ass. Pig come out, no dogs around, looked around. You haven't got a gun. Boomfa. They know. Animals, a lot more intelligence than we give them credit for. See, Poe's having a toilet now. She's just having a dump. There she goes. We'll zoom in. She hasn't had it. She jumped out of a kennel and she got onto a rat straight away. She's doing all the toilets now. She went straight into hunt mode because she knew where there was a rat. It'll be interesting to know back up when we get back up that we find a dead rat somewhere by a kennel. Probably won't unless she shows me where it is. This little girl here, she's right in the water, eh? Look at that. Right in there. That's hard case. Got a nose right down. It's like a little duck. Posting a good old drink. She's hard case. Look at her. Bring her nose right under. What a crack up. Okay, I'm looking for some more fine weather like this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, hopefully I'll take young Jody out for another hunt. We might do an overnighter. Or we may go fishing with Troy yet, we're still planning it. But either way, it's gonna make the most of the good weather when it comes. You know, winter is the best time for weather in New Zealand, I reckon. Well, Nelson, here it is anyway. I don't know about the rest of the country, but here, we get really good weather in winter. It's nice, cool days. Still snow on the mountains, but beautiful, cool days. Not so good for fishing, because there's just no fish out in the bay here. They'll be coming in probably about, well, maybe November if we're lucky, if you snap from the bay. I've been out the last couple of times and no kahawai. They must be out there because the white bait will be starting now. If you guys overseas that don't know what white bait is, it's a small fish about that big that every New Zealand and well, about this time of the year now, people will start to catch white bait. Probably, yeah, September or the end of August, they start to run and you catch them in a net. Throw them in the fry pan with a bit of egg. They're delicious. Very expensive to buy. They're a delicacy, a real delicacy. Good dogs. I'm interested to see if I can find something around Poe's kennel. This is my daughter Dayla's home. And tomorrow, it's her birthday. She's going to be 18 tomorrow. 28th to start his birthday. And I'm so happy to have her with me. She's an awesome, awesome daughter, an awesome person. All day yesterday she was rock climbing, the day before that she was kayaking, before that she was alpine uh, doing an avalanche uh, course, and then before that she was with the school doing some snow caving, like living in snow caves. She's full on with outdoor adventure stuff. And she's here with me for the next five months living here in this house truck. And it's probably the last time I'll ever spend with my daughter, then she'll be flying the coop. So I'm making the most of the time she's here with us. Really um, happy to see her settling in here and enjoying living on the farm. Although she's hardly ever here, she's always doing stuff, but she's got her own space, got a fire in there, keeps herself nice and warm. And we'll do a, a tour through there one time when she's here and show you what it's like inside the house truck, because it's a cranking good place for her to live, eh? really is. Got her own space. And we found the eggs, didn't we? 
Aha, I knew there was eggs being laid somewhere. Happy days, happy days. Look at that. Man, it's amazing the rats haven't got them. That's the first eggs since winter. Right, I'll take those. Yes, you found them. The dogs always do. I've got to put some boxes up for the chickens to lay in. Just going to leave one egg there in that shell. They keep laying there for now. And the rest, they're going to go into here. Yum. Eggs for breakfast. And look at this. Poe just had this in her mouth. There's another one. Has she cracked it or not? No, it's okay. She's no, she's not allowed to eat them without being told. Hey, Poe. What are you going to start laying some eggs, Ducky? Hey, you going to lay some eggs? So we've got uh, exactly a dozen free-range eggs, fresh and nice. That is breakfast sorted today. Mm. You guys already in your kennel waiting for some food, eh? You going to jump up in your kennel there, Pink? Hey, you were know, did. She knew I was saying, didn't you? Eh? You going to jump in there, Pink? Hey, Gil. Good dog. You're always a good dog. Look at you, eh? Look at you. What a sweet dog. Look at that face. There, yeah, look at it. He's a good girl. Oh, you are. G'day, mate. Hey, you a good girl? Aren't you sweet? Yeah, I can't wait to hunt you more. You're going to be a good dog. Yes, you are. You're going to be very good. You're intelligent. You're clever. Post put herself in the kennel, toys wide open. She's waiting for feed. You know what you're waiting for? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Posse yum. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Hey? Well you're sitting well. Oh you're sitting well now too. Are you sitting ducky? Ducky sit. That's not sitting, you miss out, Bruno gets it. Eat up. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> good luck taking that off, Bruno. Ducky, sit. That wasn't sitting. Just trying to take Ducky's food, eh? She dropped it. She got so upset by this little dog, she dropped it on the ground. Here, Ducky. No, away you go. Not fit you. Uh-oh. You lost that one, Ducky. This yes, she did. Right, with pink in her cage. Give Ducky her treat. Nice and gentle. Gentle Ducky. That was gentle. So the good news for Ducky is that Ducky's not going in the pot because my youngest daughter, Hannah, has got a male. And this is the last of our Muscovy ducks. And we want to have more. Eating her won't uh, be such a good idea, will it, Ducky? Not for you and not for our duck population. Because you're the final one that I breed. And the reason I breed white ducks, these are Muscovies, they're normally black and white, but you do get white ones, but I breed all the black and white ones out of my stock because they're easier to pluck. Well, when you pluck them, you don't see the feathers so much. Here, mate. What's keeping you away? Duck, 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 duck. Not interested? Had enough? It'll be you or the chickens. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Ha, 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 ha. Chickens had no chance. No chance at all. Our wagon, eat up. Good girl. I've cut that into six bits. And someone's robbing the dog's tucker. That's your tucker, eh? Hmm. Last piece. Very gentle. Very gentle. Okay, bonus piece, bonus piece. Chicken? No, chicken? Chicken? Ducky's struggling with that one a bit, eh? Breaking it up, leave it. Can you get it down there? Chickens get all the small bits. Ah, that's my finger. But it was actually very gentle. Normally, Buck, you can see it's a bit red, but normally Ducky bites it really hard. She's getting better. You're learning not to bite the hand that feeds you. Intelligence. Now, 
No fights. They all share it very well. They're not pigs. They're not like Labradors that scoff it down and choke. Just eat it as they need it. They do very well on it. So I also feed my dogs bones, wild possum, rabbit, hare, mutton off cuts. This is the only processed food they get. And it's not that processed really. I mean, it's got a huge amount of good stuff in it. A lot of offal from cattle and lamb. It's got the heart, lung, kidneys, liver, all the good bits. And of course, lots of possum. Is it a good day? I chopped up for them. They've gone already. Wow, that was quick. Oh, big stretch. Good dogs. Good dogs. But you can have a run again in about half an hour. I'm going to take you guys for another run. But right now, I'm having my breakfast. Mm hmm. Look what I found in the boat. Some of an egg. I've got to seriously make some lane boxes. Just found it in the boat now. I'm taking the boat out later this morning because I've got to fit a bilge pump on my old launch so it doesn't sink. And right now I'm going to cook up a feed of eggs for breakfast. This is uh, today's vlog. I haven't got really the time to film everything today. Well, I have got the time, but I want to have two hands free, so I've got a lot of work to do. I'm a wee bit behind with stuff. So uh, that's it. Be good. Can't be good. The devil. See you later. No Bruno, you're not coming inside. No you're not. There's a big, nice comfortable thing there for you to lay on. Look, there's your bed there, see that? Oh, I know what you want. You want an egg, don't you mate? Alright. Yeah, one egg Bruno. Eat up. He loves him. I can afford that. <laughs>